Well, welcome back to Keeps of Cud with uh, the Cud Buzz with Galen and, and Batman. He loves to read, people. He loves to read. Yo, we got our, uh, we, we just found our, our sidekick. That bird? Yeah, Robin. I see what you're doing. I don't. Is this something? But can I make him follow me? No. Can I make him mine? No. Then no. Oh. You can make him yours, but we don't have any of the required components. Well. So we're like... How do we get a sidekick? Um, there's two ways. We either get the mutation beguiling, um, either from cooking or from getting the mutation, which we are not going to do that part because we're true kin. Um, or we learn proselytize, which we can by making friends with the Pope. I don't think we liked the Pope. No, he didn't have too good reputation, T -t -t TBH. Why do they have against that corner piece? I don't know. It, it was giving you bad vibes, I think. Ah, our beast steel wood. How about give, give it a read? No. Nope. No time. No time. We still have to find this village. We we're like three or what? Four episodes deep into finding this stupid Snapjaw camp. Yep. Good God. Hey, wait a minute. You pass an iron dagger, a pair of feathered boar skin gloves. I think you want those. Uh, Never okay. mind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll find more. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I, uh, I I have a likeness for um, feathered objects because it's like free, very good reputation. I'm just scoping the scene, man. You scoping it out. I'm not sure why. I guess this is technically a ruin, so that's a good reason don't why. don't want to miss a thing. What was in that jar? Anything? Don't know. You can check it out. Let's look. Honey? You have to... Yeah, it is honey. Sometimes I honestly surprise myself at how I know these things. Like, that, this is, that is entirely too many hours spent dedicated to, to knowing something as useless as that. That that vase had honey in it because of its slight color change you found we found it oh there's a snap jaw here no kidding got him did i have to do anything when i was here or did i just have to find it you just had to find it and then we have to return to the village we can like check out the actual snap job for like there's a reason to check these places out um snap jaws are usually accumulators of artifacts so not good ones necessarily, but we could definitely see if they've gotten in, gotten anything good. There's also some legendaries here. Let's have a quick look before we. Okay, we're just <laughs> dive right in. Just like by the village. Okay, that's fine. They have a beaded bracelet. That's good. Hey, didn't it say that they he pour, poisoned their water hole? Now we know who yeah. did, finally. Somebody's oh, poisoned the water hole. He's on fire because that thing I ate. Yeah, you uh, you flame raised him. I'm pretty sure there's at least one more legendary in there. That's fine, I'm just... I refuse to go in through the front door. I'm nothing, fired. nothing but the the best. You can you can walk through fire for a moment. It will not set you on fire. As counterintuitive as that is. Treasure. Ooh. A glow sphere and weird artifact. The glow spheres are not worth as much as I thought they were, but they're still worth more than like water weight. Nolworm skull does provide oh ego. I always think that they provide mental armor, but I am always wrong about that. Oh, 
All right, let's get the heck out of here. I thought you said there was another legendary in here. I thought there was, but I think it was wrong. I think he already killed the one I was seeing. Hello, sir. Kill. I taught him well. What are wow. you doing? Wow. He's doing that on his own, man. <laughs> He's just disassembling the entire snapshot fort. He doesn't like double walls, you know? Hey, you know the, What's um... Happening? What thing? What is... What is... That's a snapshot brute. You oh, emitted a powerful of, flame. I was, I, was, I was ray of flaming. You, you I didn't just... understand what it wanted from me. You know the, um, the DLC for oh, yeah. Skyrim called Hearthpyre? Uh, yes. So, um, there is a mod, uh, by one of the devs who works on Caves of Cud, for Caves of Cud, called, um, I, I can't, I think it's just called, like, Hearthpyre or something with a Y. Um, mm -hmm. and it lets you build a town and, like, your own home in Caves of Cud. And even uh, fill it with inhabitants, which is pretty cool. You are carrying too much. Oh, you did collect 47 drams. That was very sudden. We'll have to drop some things. Not the books. <laughs> Probably some armor. You do have a lot of armor for some reason. Because yeah. I've got three flipping sets oh, of wings, man. Yeah. We could disassemble the magnetized boots that would put you underweight. Get some useful bits. That that uh, blue three bit is actually surprisingly difficult to obtain, so it's nice that you have quite a, a few of them. You could drop Norm Skull if you want. I don't think you'll be using it again. I am one over. Oh, are you? Oh, okay, yeah. Drop the Norm Skull for sure then. I, honestly, the leather cap too. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, let's uh, let's head back to that village. Just go up. Yep. Where was the village? Two or three below the stilt. There you go. Daruk. Um, I think we want Legendary Mechanimus Pilgrim, maybe? Or the Viceroy Barara, I think. I think we want the Viceroy Barara. Then I need to go find that book guy. Uh, why? Get rid of all these books? Oh, you mean at the still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could definitely do that. Look at that. You did it. We completed the quest. You got 100 reputation. Oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. You. Okay, listen. I know I know the bit and all. I understand the bit. You want that sphere of neg negative weight. It's so good. That is actually an amazing reward for the quest we just did. But what about a wrist warmer? It's like one of those ones that we had in high school where it's like a snap band. Yeah. Fine, I'll take your sphere. It's so good. You need only look at it to understand why. Well, it's... I'm going to look at it then and understand why. I mean, there's, yeah. What's it under? Probably D. Probably don't know what it is yet. Look at all those weird artifacts we have. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Electro, Electro bow. bow. Those are really nice. That's the kind of thing you put a nuclear cell in. That is 100% oh. better than what you're currently using for uh, ranged weaponry. Okay. So I should equip it. Yeah, I would definitely equip it and throw the... Uh, I honestly would put the nuclear cell in, it, in that. Okay. Oh, it fizzled. Bzz. Uh, equip... I'll walk you through that in a second. 
plasma, plasma grenade. Where did you find that? That's a good find. Let me detonate it. No. I see where I went wrong last time. A little N is detonate for some reason. <laughs> I understand now. That's really funny. Just wanted to put a stupid. I don't even remember what the note was gonna be. It was gonna be a gas grenade or something. Yeah, I remember what the artifact was. I just don't remember what the note was gonna be. Cool but it was really gas. important that I write it. <laughs> I got an electrified club. That's fine. I had honestly dropped that. Is and there no in. one here to sell to? Uh, yeah. There's a probably a dromad here. We could sell them. Electrified hand axe. Sell that too. It's a bronze one, unfortunately. All right. Did I look at the thing? Uh, which thing? I don't know. Is that oh, what the, I came uh, here to no, do? No, you didn't. Thing? Go to your tools, maybe. Could be in miscellaneous. Huh. Yeah, it's probably in miscellaneous. Hmm. No. Miscellaneous. This is L. No. Oh. Where is it? Trinkets. Is it a light? Is it a light source? It's gonna be trinkets. I, I see where it is now. A small sphere of negative weight. So two things. You don't even have to like see the description to understand its value. Um. Okay. So, firstly. Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's negative 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. But also, look at the bit it has in it. The bit it has in it? This The uh, tinkering bit. The ABBC7? Yeah. 7 is like one short of the most valuable bit in the game. Mm. They're really good. Like, I'm not suggesting we disassemble it. it. Negative 10 pounds is actually quite valuable, but it is like, like it might be if we find the right thing. We should disassemble those folding chairs, by the way, and treat them as scrap. I don't know why we haven't done that. Big ass. You can, you can hit the disassemble all in this case because there's like enough bulk that it won't matter that we get kicked out. Perfect. All right. Um, why don't we hit the point of interest and see if there's a dromad we can sell to? Actually, no. Wow. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, no. <laughs> <coughs> I don't even know what he that has is. No drams. All right. Let's, uh, we could sell to a bunch of people at the stilt. I want one. You want one? I don't know. You don't know what it is. I, I kind of do. And I know it's not worth it, but. So we... you lied. I, Liar. I can't, I can't remember exactly what it is, but I remember always being disappointed by that. All right. So we're done here. We're done here. I mean, congratulations. You completed a quest. Here, actually, hold on. There you go. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. So, we yeah. could genuinely sell all of our stuff to the bookbinder and buy a bunch of books. Not a terrible way of doing things right now. They are going to be expensive. Get ready for that. Don't I want to give him the books? No, you absolutely don't want to give this guy oh, the books. Oh, who do I want to give the books to? He's in the uh, church. So you have to go um, back to the oh, entrance. Oh, no. You can just leave and come back. You don't I've have to like, walk mistake. there. You'll want to go to the arrival. Yeah, there you go. Arrival location. And then you want to go north one. You also do have some Russia floor you could hand over to Zezapur. Bow. 
Your, this guy? Yeah, your book binder, this game is a soul hopper. Sheba Hagadias is always a different um, creature every single playthrough of Cud. Mm. So, yeah. I have some books. You go ahead and give him the books. You can hit tab. There you go. This uh, This process was made a lot more convenient recently. And what, it used to be you had to hand them over one by one. You might level up twice from that. Level 14. Four hit points. 110 skill points. Pajama Sam, Inspired. 72 pounds. All right. And, uh... Now I want to sell these wings. Yeah, that's a good right. point. Do you want to buy some books or do we want to buy see if we can get some data discs i feel like data discs is the way to go all right um yeah let's check out our schematics drafter so i don't know if you looked at his wares before you got tinkering but it was probably not very interesting at that point it'll be a little bit more interesting now all right Let's get rid of these arrows. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, nope. You want to uh, hit enter to put everything uh, on. So uh, there you go. Yeah. Are bullets dead to me now too? Um, I wouldn't say so just yet. No, they may be shotgun relevant. Shells. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we probably aren't going to use that shotgun. I never do. And, and it always disappoints people. Well, before we we go buy our selling our wings, we, we want to see if there, he has anything worth selling. Don't I just want to get rid of the weight and the, get the money? Well, uh, the thing is, is the weight, the oh, water. Oh, he has no. He has no trams. Well, he he will give you the water, but the thing is, is that those those wings are fifteen pounds, but the two hundred and forty five drams is, I think possibly heavier than 15 pounds like you're you're gonna be taking a lot of water and you might not even have the storage to take them so sometimes it's just better to keep things as they are until you find something worth trading for okay um this guy doesn't really have anything worthwhile maybe gesticulating six fingered is kind of cool but i don't know if they're necessarily good for us six fingered is kind of cool I mean, they're just, they're just things I can do, right? Like, it's not going to give me those things. It's going to, like, I'll have that information. Um, it, let's, it teaches you how to modify an item with six fingers. Those are, those are item mods. Hmm. So they are, they are valuable, but I don't, like, we want to find mods that are a bit more relevant to our needs. This is something where, uh, a circumstance where a lot of playthroughs of CUD is going to be valuable, um, because... What is what even is half of this stuff? I have actually no idea what a palladium mesh tab is. It might even just be a table. No, it's a tabard. Tabard. You know, what's a tabard? I assume it's similar to a scabbard. <laughs> I don't know. Um, technically speaking, we could have the bits to make that because we have a seven bit in our negative weight sphere and we have a six in our nuclear cell but that means disassembling quite a lot of useful things to make it it's a jerkin it's a jerk what's a jerkin it's a shirt it's a sleeveless shirt ah. could be good a of course, sleeveless garment worn as the outer dress of medieval peasants and clerics, or worn as a shirt coat over armor. I just realized that. Oh no. I haven't been in full screen this whole time. Oh no. It's fine. People saw my no. my uh, bottom screen. It's fine. I mean, or you can use my video also. Oh yeah, there is that. Yeah, I did. I did record everything, so I can just send you all the shit. Fantastic. Um, cut this. Cut this all out. Cut they it. don't need this. I might recommend. Why don't we go to Argive? You wanted to go to him anyway, right? 
for reasons. Uh, I'm gonna sell this shit I already clicked. Oh yeah, yeah okay, go for it. You'll get like nothing for that. One dram. <laughs> nice. One dram I didn't have before. All right, so we're going back to Chopa. Money? Should I use the thing? Yeah, we gotta use the thing. We don't gotta. We, I mean, you could walk back if you want. What's this under tools? Yeah, tools. Oh, it's low. Yeah. The worst part about that is it actually uses up the juice that it has and then doesn't commit. You did it. Zip zoop. I am transported. <laughs> so Argive is actually a also a tinkerer. Um, I mean, that's pretty evident on like how their quests. Yeah, wow. Look, look at all that stuff. We got a book. We have a salve injector. We have, a, had a big hat. we have a small smoky tube. Absolutely grab that. You can check out that book. That that book is genuinely worth reading. You broke down of the the wreath. Worth it. Look at all the stuff. Yeah. What about a nice show wall? We don't want it. We don't want a nice show wall. Uh huh. I disagree, but <laughs> that's trade. Wow. So, um, I only found out recently that those three artifacts at the top are actually cybernetics. Uh, mm. unfortunately, I, we don't get to know what kind of cybernetics unless we identify them. I think that maybe he will identify them. If you want to hit like space on one of them, identify. Yeah. Pay the, we're going to pay him seven drams. So he tells us what it is. So those are penticeps. Penticeps. Well, skill soft, soft plus, plus pistol. That's actually not bad. I can't remember if plus is, uh, I can't remember what that means. Transparent skin is also Ooh. not bad, but we, it won't be good for our build. Um, have a look at the skill soft plus pistols. Um, you gain access to a whole skill tree. So that's like insanely good that one would just let you be a master of pistols let's do it let's get rid of these wings all right so it's let's... gonna cover most of it right um we've got three yeah well let's look at his other ones though just real quick i think you want the high explosive grenade i think uh, those are two different ones mark one and mark two mark one mark two um Let's say get mark two is seems to be better in some ways. I mean, they're the same price, so why wouldn't I get the second version? Because they take different bits, and some bits are more common than other bits. And yeah, you could just buy all of his scrap, and then those are extra bits for us if you wanted to. So yeah, let's start with the Skillsoft um... Plus. And throw um, some high explosive grenade on there. Now he has liquid cooled. Liquid cooled is kind of nice. Um, yeah, mark go for two. It. Yeah, mark two. And I'd say honestly, you could just throw all of those bits on there. It'll it'll buy us quite a lot of flexibility in the future. It will add quite a bit to the price, but we definitely have have what we need. 
All right, so you can throw two mechanical wings on here. I like how he'll buy his own book back for 150. If you want, we can sell all three. I mean, mechanical wings are not necessarily the end all be all. I seem to find them just around every corner, so. They're a lot rarer than that, but I mean, yeah, that's fair. So far, this version seems to disagree. Yeah. Um, we definitely picked up a lot. Oh, you sell that Taco Suprema. It's just a real expensive taco. That's basically it's 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 main merit is that it's very good to sell. Right. You can eat it. I, I mistakenly thought it was a healing item and uh, died <laughs> because I oh. I was in a situation in which I really needed a healing item and uh, did not, in fact, have one. Um, we can sell the Asakari rifle. rifle. Yeah. And the pump shotgun. Sell this pump shotgun. I just bought that, so I don't want to sell that. Can get rid of the copper nugs. This is why we collect these things. I, I do think it's hilarious how worthless the negative weight sphere is, considering how, you know. Can I, should I sell this cider? Um, it's actually quite good for cooking with. Is there anything else we can sell? Sell the wine. The wine is also good for cooking with, but you only need to be a little bit over. Actually, no, you know what? Um, second thoughts, do the braided, the beaded bracelet instead. And then that'll actually be enough to like, you're already over, but you want to be a bit more over because we're actually kind of running low on water. And then this is, this is good. Uh, I have a lot of fruit jam. You do, and it actually does add up. You could, you could definitely do some. Like you could do Ooh, all of I... it and then like take off 30. I'll just do this. Okay. That Get works. Me a thousand drams. Yeah. Um, can I recharge chem cells or should I just sell drained ones? You can recharge them, and the fact that we don't have very many right now means recharging them is actually kind of valid. The fact that we All have right. less chem cells than mechanical wings blows my mind. Like, that is not how it works. <laughs> That's so stupid. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not mm. a huge fan of liquid cooled. It's cool in theory, but then the fact that it's blowing through my fresh water kind of sucks. Oh. This item actually burns its wielder compute power on the local lattice increases the effectiveness of this effect. Um, quite a yeah, good honestly, effect. Don't understand what that just said. Okay, so... um. Basically, it means that a, a a user of mental mutations, whenever a, a mutant has like mental mutations where they're like trying to explode your brain, for instance, if you can mm. astrally burden them, then it means that they cannot use that effect without great risk to themselves. That sounds good for the fact that people keep blowing up my head. The problem with those guys is that they tend to use that um, right away. So unless you can astrally burden them before they use their only method of attack, they probably nothing bad will happen to them. So it's actually still not very effective for novice of the sightless way. Annoyingly. You really need to get rid of those guys quicker. Yeah. Well, you do have a very good bow right now. Well, we're going to explore that in a second. All right. I guess I'm done then. Yeah. We'll have to go through all of your bits look. and scrap. Six all fingered right. actually does give you extra agility. That would make it give you a bit more uh, aim. I'm gonna get that. All right. 
No, I'm not making enough. Now I gotta sell more jam. <laughs> I gotta sell my preserves. My jam, my precious antique jam. Let's go. Got a lot. Yeah, you really do. Let's do. Let's do 80. Okay. Done. Heck yeah, bud. Enjoy that taco, my man. <laughs> Farewell, Argive. Um, fun fact, Caves of Cud canonically exists in the uh, post-future of Demolition Man where Taco Bell reigns supreme. I'm familiar, yes, in the three shell system. Yeah. Oh, I killed that man. <laughs> that was your first violent act, predicated by my advice. <laughs> do it. Sorry, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he does have a book. It's we didn't not even worth rob him? We didn't, no. It's not worth isn't very it, much. Isn't every, isn't every book worth XP? Um, with the exception of, like, you can, yeah, you can hand it in. Go ahead and grab it if you want. Um, the reason that one's not worth very much is it's, it's a mechanimous book and they have tons of those. Mmm. All right. So why don't we, um, check a few boxes before we end this episode. Um, let's learn our data disks. Six fingered we can learn. Explosive grenade we can learn. Right. What do I do with this? Thing. We can't do anything with that until we find a becoming nook. Oh my gosh. I know, it's a lot. Mmm. Mmm. Heck yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, next, we're going to disassemble all of our scrap because you have 86 pounds of it. Mmm. No, I missed. You missed. You could probably do disassemble all since they're in batches of nine and thirteen. Mm. <laughs> uh, it it rarely comes up, but it's it's annoying every time. B B B B B B B B B One 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 Then uh finally at the D D D D D D D D D D microchips Alright Do you wanna make a grenade? Can I detonate it immediately? You can do that if you wish. All right. Um, I still can't remember what the tinkering button is. It might be. Never is will. it O? No, that's no, open. That's open. I don't know what it is. So we just use like X and seven on the numpad. Can't cheat. Talk. <laughs> You're just <laughs> pressing every sh shortcut. Can't I look it up? Yeah, you can. Tinker. K. Hey. Well, we tried K and it was skills. What the heck? What? That doesn't make any Sorry. dang sense. Wow. All right, so why don't we uh, mod your chain gauntlets with six fingered? Uh, okay. So that's just going to be a plus one to your agility right away. Your first tinkering. I'm so proud. We've come so far. Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Yeah, it does that because uh, sometimes they're like you'll have multiple modifications that you can do. All right, we've done it. We can do a gravity grenade and high explosive grenade. 
Oh, actually, we can't do a gravity grenade. You need scrap crystal or flawless crystal. But you can do high explosive. I recommend doing that like, I don't know, 10 times. Boop, boop, boop. It all comes down to this. This is what it all means. This is what it's all about. All right, I made a bunch of grenades. You did make a bunch of grenades. Uh, and you did make 10 of them. Nice. So, uh, we're pretty much good to go. You have a really good bow now. Um, I've got too many fingers. You've got too many fingers. Uh, that's going to give you a bit more agility so you can aim better. Uh, you've got some high explosive grenades, which is going to really help for some short range. Uh, careful with those in any kind of tight, like, corridors. Don't blow myself up. Yeah. Don't, blow, blow, don't blow yourself up. And uh, we might be good to head towards Golgotha or maybe hit up one of the ruins or historic sites that we avoided previously. I want to get the Glaze of Ducious. Yeah. It's it's a rough one, but we could we could give it a go. Next time on... Cud Buds. Whatever this show is called. Cud Buds. Cud Buddies. Cud, cud, cud. Next time on a very exciting episode of Cud Buds. If you are enjoying the series. Getting the glaze of douches. <laughs> All right. shit boon. Hey. Enjoy it. Hit the button. Do all the things. Goodbye. Do all the things. Bye.